The appendicular skeleton is made up of the bones of the limbs. The thoracic limb are also called as anterior limb or the forelimb. It has no bony connection to the trunk and is only being attached by the muscles. In contrast to that is the pelvic limb which is connected by the bony articulation via the pelvic girdle. The forelimb comprises of the shoulder or the scapula, the upper arm or the humerus, the forearm or the radius and ulna, and the manus which comprise of the carpals, metacarpals, and the phalanges. And in the high limbs, it is composed of the hip or the os coxae or pelvic girdle, the thigh or the femur, the leg or the tibia and fibula, and the pes which comprise of the tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. For the shoulder girdle, it is also called as scapula or blade bow or blade bone. The clavicle or collarbone is only found in cats. This can be mistaken for a bone in the esophagus. The fused clavicle are called furcula or wishbone. Coracoid is the strongest bone for flight in birds, the arm or the humerus, the forearm or the radius and ulna, the radius and the ulna. And for the manus or hand, it is comprised of the carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. Scapula or the shoulder blade in all animals is relatively flat triangular bone. It has a prominent spine running down in the lateral surface, dividing it into infraspinous fossa, into supraspinous fossa. On the distant end of the spine is the acromion. The glenoid cavity is a shallow articular socket where it forms the shoulder joint with the head of the humerus. The supraglenoid tubercle is the process near the cranial aspect of the glenoid cavity for the attachment of biceps brachii muscle. Comparing the scapula of different animals. In cats, it is triangular shape and has a suprahamate process. The suprahamate process is a caudal projection of a chromion only found in cats. In dogs, the spine bisects the lateral surface. It has a distinct acromion. No coracoid, no glenoid notch, and have a narrow scapular cartilage. In goat, it is a triangular shape and have an equal fossa. For the scapula of pig, it is a rhomboid shape, no acromion, and have a prominent trapezius tubercle overhanging the infraspinous fossa, and have a narrow scapular cartilage. In horse, the spine fades distally unequal fossa, no acromion, and trapezius tubercle is present. In cattle, it is distinctly triangular, unequal fossae, the supraspinous fossa is smaller than the infraspinous fossa, and the infraspinous fossa is broader than the supraspinous fossa. It has no notch in the glenoid cavity, it has a broad scapular cartilage, and a chromion is present at the distal spine. Next is the humerus. The head is a rounded process articulating with the scapula's glenoid cavity to form a shoulder joint. The greater tubercle is a large process cranial lateral to head which muscle can attach. This is the point of the shoulder. It divided into cranial and caudal in dog, pig, horse, and ruminants. It is undivided in cats. If we flip the bone, you can see the lesser tubercle. It is the process medial to the head. Next is the body. The body or shaft is a cylindrical part connecting the epiphysis. The deltoid tuberosity is a large tuberosity on the lateral side of the humerus. The entire distal extremity of the humerus is the humeral condyle. The lateral epicondyle is the lateral side of the humeral condyle, giving rise to the extensors of the forearm. While the medial condyle is the medial side of the humeral condyle, for the attachment of flexors of the forearms. The supratrochlear foramen can only be found in dogs.
The humerus of pig have lateral tuberosity, almost converts by sepital groove into foramen. The humerus of the horse. The intermediate tubercle is present in the bicipital groove. In cattle, there is a massive lateral tuberosity overhangs the bicipital groove. In cats, it is undivided greater tubercle. And supracondylar foramen is present. In the supracondylar foramen, the median nerve and the brachial vessel pass through it. In dog, a single lateral tuberosity is present. The supratrochlear foramen can only be found in the dogs. The parts of the radius and ulna. It is also called as forearm or antebrachium. The radius is the main weight bearing, a rod-like bone. While the ulna, it serves only for muscle attachment. And always the ulna is longer than the radius except in horse. Comparing the radius and ulna. In dog, cats, and pig, the ulna is not fused with the radius. There is a distinct interosseous space present. In the cattle, the ulna is fused with the radius. There is a proximal and distal interosseous space. In horse, the ulna is fused almost two-thirds way down the shaft of the radius. And there is only proximal interosseous space present. And also take note that the ulna of the horse is shorter than the radius. The carpus in all animals is complex region that includes two rows of small bones. The carpal bones in the proximal row are called from medial to lateral. In the proximal row, R or the radial carpal bone are also called as scaphoid bone. I or intermediate carpal bone are also called as lunar bone. U or ulnar carpal bone is also called as cuneiform. And A is for accessory carpal bone. In addition, an accessory carpal bone projects the caudal from the lateral side of the carpus. Whereas those in the distal row are numbered from 1 to 4. One is also called as trapezium, two is called as trapezoidium, three is also called as capitatum, and four is called as hematum. In the dog, the radial carpal bone and the intermediate carpal bone are fused. The rest are present, in total of seven carpal bone. In the horse, the first carpal bone is either present or absent, in total of 7 or 8 carpal bone. In ruminant, all proximal row are present. The first carpal bone is missing, the second and third carpal bone are fused, and the fourth is present, in total of 6 carpal bone. And in pig, the proximal row and the distal row is complete, in total of 8 carpal bone. The manus or the hand is comprised of the carpals, metacarpals, and the phalanges or the digital bone. As a default, there are five metacarpal bones. The, in the dog, the first metacarpal bone have two digital bone. The rest have three digital bone, named as the proximal, middle, and the distal. In pig, only four is present. The first metacarpal is missing. The second and fifth were reduced, and the third and the fourth is well developed. In and also, there is a three digital bone present. In cattle, the first and second bone are lacking. The third and fourth united on the proximal and middle part to form a large metacarpal. But at the distal extremity, it articulates separately with proximal phalanges.
This is the weight bearing and also called as cannon bone. The fifth metacarpal is vestigial or no use. And three digital bone is present. In horse, only the third metacarpal is functional. It is also called as cannon bone. The third metacarpal is fully developed and it is the weight bearing. The second and fourth bone are vestigial and the first and fifth bone are missing. There are only three digits present in the horse. The long pattern or proximal, the short pattern or the middle, the coffin bone or the distal. The distal sesamoid bone is called navicular bone. From the perspective of evolutionary and developmental biologies, a horse hoof is literally a giant middle finger. Thank you so much for watching and this video is sponsored by Patreon subscribers. Join me in making more veterinary educational content in a creative way. In return, you can have an access to all of my vet digital files, including my scanned notes and digital layout on Patreon. Your generous contribution will give justice for all of my hard work, so I can have more time to create artsy notes for your enjoyment and education. Thank you so much again for watching and see you on my next video. I am Dr. Leatrice. I'm a veterinarian and an artist. Bye-bye!